Hi everyone, so I've just talked about the first love language which was acts of service and now I'm talking about another love language which is called quality time. So there are five love languages and I'm going to be doing the full video on my YouTube channel, I'm um, sorry, my Facebook page, Marianne Hansen Counselling Service. I might do it for my YouTube as well. So quality time is where someone feels love when they're spending quality time with their partner. Now all of these love languages, to be fair, are probably things that everyone wants in a relationship anyway but what they're trying to say is that you all have like a main love language now for some people spending quality time together is important but maybe for another person receiving gifts is more important so for a person who quality time is important means that if your partner is working all the time or really busy but they send you lots of gifts or when you are together um, you do nice things you might still struggle in your relationship because you might not feel as loved Whereas you can have a partner who has lots of time, you're always together, you always do everything together and it's quality time. So you're sharing um, space, but you're also maybe doing an activity together for someone whose love language is quality time. That's what they would um, thrive at.